fake accounts. There are many fake accounts out there pretending to be me. Please be careful who you're talking to. The accounts I only use are verified. I'm deeply sorry for those that are affected by these accounts out there. It's out of control. And we will do our best to report these emails. WhatsApp or any social media messages from these accounts. Much love and be safe. That is from Peyton Parrish, who is a TikTok um, musician. He actually does really amazing music, and I, I follow him. But I have gotten fake messages from Peyton Parrish, fake follows from Peyton Parrish. It's not the real Peyton Parrish. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Oh, please disregard the hair. Like, don't judge me on the hair, because today we're doing something... <laughs> different. The focus of this video is actually talking about fake accounts on specifically Instagram and Facebook. And then also kind of trickling on over into the YouTube space as well. And I wanted to kind of sit down and talk about this because <laughs> I feel like this is such a subject that nobody really talks about here in the YouTube space or even over on the Instagram space. And I'm recently seeing some influencers who have spoken up about the situation with all these like fake accounts and these spoofing accounts and these scam accounts. So if you guys don't know, I actually used to work for a cybersecurity company. And through that cybersecurity company, I learned a lot about cybersecurity, obviously, but I also learned a lot about the motive behind these scammers and why they are potentially targeting the people that they do and why they target the organizations that they do and basically like what their motive is behind scamming you. Honestly, some of you guys might be like, well, Stacy, duh, like we already know why people scam us, why they, why they try to take our money, why they're doing this. But in all honesty, that's really not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that it's not being addressed by Facebook, by Meta, and it's also not being addressed by those people who are being impersonated. And I've only seen a couple of people who have actually called out the scammers who have more of a following on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, so to speak, and they're like, guys, like, this isn't me. Why aren't celebrities, why are influencers calling this out? Why aren't they, you know, acknowledging that there are scam accounts out there and, you know, kind of giving their followers the reassurance that, like, these spam accounts aren't them? And that the only account that they have is the one that's verified or whatever account that they use is verified. I mean, in, in reality, if you think about it, Meta should be the one that is like, you know, taking care of this problem, but they aren't. Just to give you guys a little bit of cybersecurity background on why scammers do this. Well, the reason why they decide to depict celebrities in general, they are creating fake accounts on TikTok, on Facebook and Instagram, even on YouTube. And they are saying things like, we appreciate you following us. Like this is my private account, one that I, I arrange people to message me through so that we can have a private conversation. And they're doing this through different channels on Instagram. Um, specifically, I've seen even on TikTok, I've seen this. And then they're also, like if you have a giveaway going on or even just random comments, there's an account that impersonates the influencer or the celebrity or even the brand. And they're like, oh, you've won the giveaway. Send us like this, this and this and you will get whatever is in the giveaway. And typically it seems harmless at first that you are getting these messages. It seems harmless that like, you know, they're asking for this and that's kind of how they bait you in. At the end of the day. All a hacker is looking for is a quick payout to get your credentials to steal your money. By impersonating these celebrities, they are able to be like, oh yeah, you need to donate to my cause. So like there's some celebrities who are affiliated with like UNICEF. The, so the spammer will go to you and be like, hey, don't forget to donate to UNICEF. You know, I am an ambassador and they'll send you a link to go donate. And you're thinking like, this is a celebrity I follow. This is their this is their private account. I I trust it. They'll click that link and they'll either send money or enter credentials for something and those get stolen and then that hacker has access to whatever credentials you gave them. 
or they have access to that money that you donated to UNICEF. There are so many different scams out there that originate around originate around this, the fact that so many celebrities are getting impersonated. It's like influencers are getting impersonated, celebrities are getting impersonated. Um, I even have friends who have been hacked with like a decent following and they're like small business owners and they've been hacked and then all of a sudden they're selling Bitcoin and they're encouraging people to buy Bitcoin. So there's several scams out there that are going around. The biggest one of them being right now is that celebrities and influencers are either getting impersonated on the platform with somebody making like a scammer making a fake account or their publisher, their private publisher or their administrative assistant going in and like messaging you to have a private conversation with a celebrity. This this needs to stop. And I know that's really hard to say and think about. And you're like, oh, yeah, like we can make it stop. Like hackers are never going to stop trying to get a quick payout. But I think it is important for a celebrity, somebody with a huge following, if they know that somewhere out there in La La Land, somebody is impersonating them. I understand some of these celebrities have a team of social media people to manage their account. In my opinion, I feel like some of these celebrities still have control over their Instagram account. Definitely influencers have control over their Instagram account and their YouTube account and like all these accounts that they manage. And so at the end of the day, what I mean by it needs to stop is that I personally feel like celebrities should start acknowledging the fact that they are being impersonated and that it's not them. And they should make a statement saying that this isn't me. My only account is the one that I am posting from with the verified. And please don't send money. Please don't click any links. And the reason why I say that celebrities should be doing this is because these scammers are hurting the reputation of influencers who are being impersonated as well as celebrities who are being impersonated. They're not taking any kind of due diligence to like help their community, help their followers, or even just help people in general know that like this is a scam account. I would never post something like this. Please do not get scammed by them. I've actually only seen a couple of people on the Instagram space, meta space, who have addressed this situation and been like, I can't believe I'm having to do this, but this account, they post a picture of it and they call it out and they're like, this is not me. And I've actually seen a couple of um, big time like influencers, creators on TikTok, like there's a musician um, named Peyton Parrish who literally just posted this morning and that's kind of what prompted this video, but he just posted this morning, the day that I'm filming this, that he had some people who were impersonating him on his Instagram asking for God knows what. And so he actually addressed the situation and he was like, guys, like this isn't me. The only account I have is the one that I'm posting from that you see this. And just to be aware of spam, spammers, scammers, people who are trying to steal your information, get you to, you know, pay out in some way. And honestly, to me, the celebrities that do this, that call out those scammers, I feel like they're not only looking out for the best interest of the people that follow them, but they're also looking out for like gen like general people. They're looking out for just anybody who is on the platform who is following them or even another celebrity for them to realize that like some of these accounts that are being created that say they're like a publicist or a private account of a celebrity, they really aren't. But I've seen a couple of other um, celebrities, like actual celebrities who are very well known, um, post on their their private Instagram saying like, guys, like this isn't me. Please don't pay out people. Please do not, do not fall for this. I wish that more celebrities would call out these scammers and call out what's going on. Whenever I get a scam account that messages me saying like, oh, like I'm the administrative assistant of blah, 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 or I am the you know, I, this is my private account for blah, 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 celebrity, I report it immediately. But Meta doesn't take care of it 90% of the time. I feel like if celebrities were making more of a big deal of the fact that people are getting scammed, even they're getting scammed in a way, it is illegal to impersonate somebody else. Um, It's called identity theft. Like, 
why why don't celebrities say something to get Meta to realize that this is a huge problem on the platform and kind of lock down what's going on on the platform, not not just with Instagram, but also with YouTube and also with TikTok. I honestly feel like if celebrities made a huge deal about what is going on in the space and that like they're being impersonated, that they're being, they're being like, you know, their identity is pretty much being stolen in any case, that they would... I feel like these platforms, these social media platforms would see it as more of a problem and that they would enact some sort of security setting or even like up their scanning, I guess. I don't even know what happens after you, like, I don't know. They, I mean, obviously they investigate it, but at the same time, like they don't really do anything about it either. Like maybe they would invest in a bigger team to get rid of all these scammers that are on the platform. And don't get me wrong, I know that using platforms like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and like all these platforms, I know that they come with the caveat that like there are fake accounts out there. Don't get me wrong. Like I understand that 100%. But I also know that it's against Facebook policy, meta policy, YouTube policy. Like it's against all the policies of these websites to impersonate somebody else. So with that being something that's against their policy and you report it, why aren't they doing more to like remove these accounts? At the end of the day, what would happen if all these celebrities left that platform and they band together and they made a new platform that really regulated, you know, all this spam content that keeps coming through? I don't think those social media sites would be very happy about it, to be honest with you. Reporting these things I feel like it would become more of a forefront issue for Meta and YouTube and TikTok to take care of instead of it kind of just being an afterthought. You use the platform with a caveat like, you know, buyer beware or person beware. But at the end of the day, when somebody is being impersonated, when somebody is being like, you know, somebody is impersonating who you are. Like, don't you want to take care of that? Don't you want to let people know in general, like, this isn't me. I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for a donation. I'm not asking you to, like, enter your credentials so that you can, you know, have a meeting with me or anything like that. And at the end of the day, you would think that even, like, the bigger celebrities, the people who have, you know, people who are really famous, if they're getting impersonated, you would think that they would post something To make followers and people aware that these accounts are fake and that, you know, that's not them. Because while only one scammer could be out there impersonating who you are, they can actually do a lot of damage before Meta shuts them down, before Meta, um, if they shut them down, I should say, before anything is done. And it's not just them being impersonated. Um, like somebody saying like, oh, this is my private account for like blah, 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 celebrity. It's also those accounts that are saying that they're like the personal assistant for that person. And they're still representing that person that they're impersonating. And it's still a scam. And you would think, you would think that people who have like a huge following and who people who are, you know, really in the public eye would want to say something so that their reputation isn't destroyed. Don't come at me saying like, oh, people should know better. Some people don't know better. Some people don't because sometimes these accounts, especially the ones that are like, oh, I'm the assistant of, sometimes those can look real. Now, me having worked in cybersecurity, I can pick off like a fake account as soon as possible. Most people, some people can't. Some people can't pick them off. So that's the problem is that these accounts are looking more and more authentic because of the way that they mimic the real person, that it's becoming harder and harder to differentiate what is real and what is not because these scammers have gotten so good at impersonating whoever whoever it is that they've chosen for the day. Um, this influencer had some things going on on her Facebook page and she called them out on her Instagram stories and was like, guys, this is not me. And literally, if you went to the post where this scammer was posting things, you could see that it literally clearly said the influencer's name had the same exact picture and it looked like it was her. And because Meta isn't acting fast to take these things down, 
but the big thing that people need to that that is happening with social media right now like the only thing really that especially on a on Instagram, on Facebook, even on Twitter, the only option that they have for you is to report the account, but that's it. Like you can't on Instagram, you can't hide the account, you can block the account from you to see you, but you cannot block. But in the meantime, like if you block them, you can't actually tell if they're still trying to impersonate you either. So you can't report every single post, which is something that you diligently have to do if somebody is impersonating you is keep going back to that account and reporting every single time that they impersonate you until the, you know, whoever team is working on it catches on that this actually is a fake account and they should not be impersonating me. And then when you hop on over to Facebook, it works like you can block them from the account and you can make it so that you can hide the comments. But at the end of the day, you don't know if they're still impersonating you if you block that account. So while you block them from viewing your page, if they have access to other things, I mean, they can still scam people easily. And they always make new accounts too. The fact that, you know, social media really hasn't caught up to scam bots, like to scammers in general, and that they really aren't addressing the issue in a serious manner, I really feel like if influencers and celebrities made more of a big deal about it and they were like okay this isn't me this is a scam account it would bring these social media platforms into the 21st century as a you know it would bring them into the, it would bring them into the forefront realizing that this is a huge problem and that people are getting scammed left and right cuz they're quick to mark a post as sensitive they're quick to you know really censor certain types of content but they're not quick to actually get rid of the scammy people that are on Facebook that are doing more harm and you know there's been times throughout everything that's been going on in the world lately where all of a sudden like Facebook will block a post because it's incorrect information but there's somebody who's scamming people out of thousands and thousands of dollars that Facebook is not taking care of. I honestly think that if we started making it more of an issue and if celebrities started calling out when they're being impersonated, um, it would bring awareness to the platform for the people who follow those people. It would help with any issues of slander or misrepresentation, which it doesn't matter if you're big or small. Even in cybersecurity, The biggest thing when you have a breach, when you're hacked, when you're scammed, is your reputation. Once your reputation is like messed with, once, even once, it's hard to rebuild that trust with the people that you that you had a connection with before. Um, like if you look at it from a business standpoint and something happens where you have a data breach or you've been scammed and then their information has been scammed, um, their reputation is the first thing that you try to rebuild because people lose faith and they lose trust in whoever that is. Us, let's say a small influencer who has, you know, 100,000 followers on YouTube and they have a significant following, but as soon as some one person gets scammed from an influencer and it's actually a, like a spam account, it goes all over social media. It goes all over Reddit. It goes all over, you know, different parts of social media and your reputation is ruined. And because you didn't address the fact that it is a spam account, it kind of leaves like a really bad taste in the mouth of the people who follow you because they feel like they got scammed by you. And the same goes for um, larger Hollywood celebrities. Like if you see that people in general are being scammed and being told that like, you know, there's a private account representing you. I'm not going to lie, there was a fake Orlando Bloom account. Obviously, I knew it was fake, but they immediately went into, you know, support my UNICEF goals and they wanted money. And I feel like, you know, as the PR representative for that specific celebrity, they should have been all over the internet, you know, 
not only trying to take it down, but shouldn't the celebrity be doing something on the front end to be like, hey guys, like be aware of this. This is happening. I am not asking you guys for money because people think it's real. They think it's legit. Like I said, with some of these spammy accounts, they look so authentic these days. And it's really hard to tell the difference sometimes because they look so authentic and because they are literally just, I mean, they look authentic. It's definitely an issue I feel like needs to be addressed overall on any social media platform is that there are a lot of scams going around. But I also feel like as a celebrity, as somebody who's in the spotlight, you should be acknowledging that it's happening. And then when you make light of the fact that like this person is scam, like these scammers are out there, you are protecting yourself because you're, re- you're protecting your reputation, but then you're also going that extra step and you're protecting those people that follow you, that admire you. And to me, that's very selfless. I'm appreciative of celebrities and, you know, larger influencers who acknowledge the fact that those scammers are out there and they call them out right away. I could do just like a whole separate video on the fact that like, you know, Facebook isn't taking care of these these scamming accounts and like what their whole goal is behind it and how to look for <laughs> a scam account and like what they look like. I could do a whole like a whole nother video on that. All in all, I really feel like if celebrities, if anybody who is being impersonated on the internet called out these spam accounts and made them, made Meta, made made YouTube, made people accountable for these spam accounts, I feel like they, the social media system would start to filter out and create a better environment where they catch and make this a priority sooner. I have more respect for the celebrities, for the influencers who call out these scammers and let you know as a follower of them that this is not them. You're not asking for money. You're not asking for a quick payout. As somebody who has studied PR, as somebody who was a journalist, as somebody who has been in cybersecurity, reputation is everything. And that goes for anybody. That goes for somebody big, somebody small. If you have a following and your reputation gets like completely tainted, even if it's just a little bit, you can lose support, you can lose followers. And at the end of the day, like even me just being smaller, a smaller creator, even just a small person in general, like my reputation means everything to me. And at the end of the day, I really feel like this is an issue that needs to be addressed across all social media platforms. And I think the first place that it starts is with the people who use it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider subscribing before you go. And I hope I get to see you in my next video. Bye.